Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, please subscribe, followed by the bell. Samsung has equipped its Galaxy S series models with two brands of chipsets, which are deployed depending on region, in Europe we normally get the models with Exynos SoC, just like the Galaxy S21 smartphones are equipped with the Exynos 2100. Online there has been talk for months about its successor, the Exynos 2200, expectations are high, because this will be Samsung's first chip with an AMD GPU however, Samsung seems to have serious production problems, which means that the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 will be found in many more devices than initially planned. So all Samsung Galaxy S22 models will be equipped with a Qualcomm chip, in all regions, the information hit like a bomb, some couldn't believe it after all, there was plenty of evidence that the Exynos 2200 is also in the works. However, it didn't take long for the South Korean news medium neighbor to come out with similar news, in Korea, the Galaxy S22 will get a Snapdragon processor at the time, neighbor assumed that Samsung in Europe will still provide a few Galaxy S22 devices with the Exynos 2200 processor. In the meantime, evidence kept piling up that a Samsung S22 with Exynos 2200 is in the works, an official spec sheet has been leaked, which mentions the Exynos 2200, benchmark results also appeared online of an S22 test device with Exynos SoC, will Samsung still use the new Exynos chip? Samsung will use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in the US, Europe and Korea, meanwhile, the planned release date for the Exynos 2200 has passed, the official introduction should have taken place on January 11, 2022 however, Samsung has cancelled everything at the last minute. Another sign that something is seriously wrong with Samsung's new SoC, Samsung has decided to put the Qualcomm chip into every continent, this is somewhat remarkable, because a few days ago he was still convinced that it would be the Exynos 2200. Samsung has probably also informed the retailers of the changes regarding the chipset, the biggest design change will take place on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it's set to have a flatter rectangular design that's distinctly Galaxy Note-like and an integrated S Pen holder is also expected. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is tipped to get five cameras in its rear array, but rather than use a contour cut module, these are expected to be integrated into the back of the phone, giving it a slick and seamless look. Well that is it guys, without been said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.